How do I resolve an out-of-memory error in Jenkins? Imagine that you see an out-of-memory error, or UMI, show up in your Jenkins logs. How do you go about resolving that error? That's what we're going to look at in this video. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller, version 2.346.3. The first thing that we're going to look at is a document called Prepare Jenkins for Support over at the Clobby support site. Now, if we go ahead and scroll down here, the section that we're going to focus on is the JVM heap size. Now, as best practices, dash XMS and dash XMX should be set to the same size. There's also a JVM best practices document that's linked here in this document as well that goes into a lot more about setting the JVM settings. But in our case, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a base installation and then figure out how to properly set the XMS and the XMS. The links for both of these documents are down in the description. So let's go ahead and go into our controller at the command line level. So what we have here is we can see that our Jenkins process is running by running ps aux ww. And down here at the bottom, we see the Jenkins process and all of the parameters that were used to start it up. Now, taking a look at this, we can see that there are no specific XMX or XMS values set. Now, there's another way to take a look at these settings. We can also type JPS-LV, and this will also show us any of the Jenkins processes, JPS, and show us just those two processes. In our case, JPS is one of the processes, and then the other process is our Jenkins server. But again, we see that we don't have any XMS or XMS set for this server. If we go back over to the documentation, and we can see here that the initial heap size and maximum heap size, the defaults of the JVM typically do these things, depending on which version of the JVM you're using. But the recommendations for running Jenkins is that if I'm running a Jenkins controller as a production controller, I want to have at least four gig sets. So that means I want to set four gig for my XMS and four gig for my XMX. The other thing to note is that the maximum heap that you should ever set for a Jenkins controller is 16 gig. The final item is you want to set your garbage collection to G1 GC. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be setting that up because the size of the server that I'm currently running is only a one gig machine. So that means I can't even set the four gig because it won't even start. So for our example in this video, we're gonna be setting an XMS and an XMX of 512 meg. So let's go back over to our shell and let's edit our configuration. We're gonna add in our XMS and XMX at the very beginning of Java Ops. So now we have Java Ops with an XMX value of 512 meg and an XMS value of 512 meg. We're not gonna to touch any of the other values that we've already got set up. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and stop our process now. So we'll say systemctl stop Jenkins. And now let's go ahead and start the process back up. Now that's started back up, let's run our JPS-LV one more time. And we can see here from our output, we have our XMS and XMX showing up in our process listing. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.